It was a peaceful day in the Palace of Meditation. Like the Tao, everything was in perfect balance. My mind was empty, still like a river. No thoughts passed through my mind, yet my mind encompassed everything. Blissful, fully aware of everything and my place in the co-creation of the universe. I breathed the same air as the plants and animals of my sanctuary. Plants and animals that had lived peacefully among each other. Not wanting anything. Not needing anything. A stark contrast to the humans who enter my sanctuary. I don't expect people to do much, yet they constantly disappoint me. Leaving trash in my sanctuary, yelling, and trampling on my plants. I used to watch the news in all its depressingness, but I have since given up hope. My sanctuary is the only good place left here. Everything else, man is going to destroy. But I'm not complaining. I meditate. I seek to restore the balance. I promise the animals and plants that one day, man will be gone, and Eden will once again open to them. I smile. Balance. I think in my mind the way things should be, you won't and I work to achieve it. I meditate. Yet despite my efforts, the outside world invades my thoughts, invades my mind. I have a dream, and my dream is this. Build a spaceship. Settle elsewhere. Only then will you truly be free. And so the following day I work. Knowledge invades my mind. And with this knowledge, I build the spaceship. And then I have a thought. With this knowledge, I could do many other things. I could make the world a better place by destroying mankind. There are many ways I could do this. Plague. Mass murder. Black death. I decide to create a plague to destroy mankind. A quiet, fitting end to a loud, destructive species. A return to balance. I unleash the plague without hesitation, and then I leave in my spaceship. All the animals are with me, and there is peace. I cringe as I look, but then I center myself. I know there is peace. I remind myself of this and there's balance. Days pass mostly well. I sit in meditation, in balance. Yet, despite my efforts in my haste and laziness, I accidentally trample some of the plants. When I more closely examine the plants and animals, I begin to notice things I had not noticed before. I notice the animals fighting one another. I notice the plants competing against one another stealing each other's sunlight. And I wonder to myself, is life cursed? I let the plants and animals destroy themselves. They don't last long. And I go into meditation and reach a higher plane of consciousness. Once more, there's balance and there's peace. After a while, the oxygen runs low, but I don't care. I've surpassed the others. I'm no longer bound by human pettiness, needs, and wants. I am a god.